Good morning, welcome to day six of our Alberta trip. Alan and I just got to Grassy Lakes. So Grassy Lakes, we actually wanted to do the first day with our group of people, but it just didn't end up working out. We ended up going to Cory Lake, as you guys saw. So Alan and I decided to just drive here. It's about 10 minutes away from where we're staying, so we figured we might as well get it out of the way. This morning, we had a really good breakfast at the place that we're staying. It was like a bagel with a poached egg, hollandaise sauce, arugula, tomato, ham. It was really good. Alan just had a bagel with like a poached it was like a keeping sunny it plain side. and Jane, you know. Yeah, it was like a sunny side. Uh, Up egg on a bagel. Yeah, and then Great. they also had like orange juice, cereal, water, tea. I also had a smoothie. It was mango, banana, and pineapple, which was really good. So yeah, the breakfast was awesome. We're fueled up for this mini hike. I think it's supposed to take like an hour and a half total. Yeah. Do you remember how many kilometers or it's anything? Like four kilometers or something. Yeah. So we're doing that first thing right now. We have a plan for the afternoon. I'm not sure. We'll if we're actually gonna do it. So I'll keep you guys updated, but let's go on this hike. So as you can see, they have a sign right at the beginning where it says, this trail is easy. This one's more difficult. We're gonna do the easy one because Alan's foot is still a little bit sore. Can't you can even see. wear my hiking shoes yet. Can't even wear his hiking shoes yet. So easy trail it is. We've been walking for like five minutes maybe. We're both kind of out of breath. We're not used to this stuff. The trail is very easy. It's definitely a lot easier than the first mountain we summited, but as you can see, literally out of breath. Endurance sucks. If you see me in the gym lifting weights, all good. See me doing cardio, whew, we're dying. Not wearing my hiking shoes, I am wearing my Converse because it is an easier trail. Haven't had any issues so far. I have a sports bra underneath, so I'm probably gonna go into that soon. Alan stripping again. So these pants, I think I've showed you guys them, but you can, they're pants, but they have zippers above the knee, so you can take them to make them into shorts. So he's hot, now he's in shorts. I think we've made it to the top. This is the view behind us. And then there's actually a body of water right there, which the color is even more gorgeous. We're gonna head there soon. For a little bit of perspective, where we were showing you at the very top was literally just right here. You walk down literally 10 seconds and you get to this beautiful water. It's multiple different colors. I don't think you can swim in it. Everyone is just kind of sitting around looking at it, taking pictures. Honestly, the camera doesn't even do it justice. It's just so gorgeous. The color is stunning. Water break since we're here anyways. Fiance? I have to open it for her. Yes, Fiance. She's my queen, I forgot. You signed up for this. Lifetime. Get the hair out of her face. That water is still from yesterday, it's still cold. Those bottles we bought from Amazon are amazing. Yeah, we'll link the description in the <laughs> YouTube description, guys. We'll link the Navigate. description in the YouTube description. <laughs> I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys, but there is people rock climbing right there, right there. So I'm gonna completely zoom out. It's so hard to tell, but they're literally both in between my fingers right there. All right, we're trying to hike up these little rocks because the grassy lake is right there. So we wanna get up and get a nice view. I don't know if I can do this and vlog at the same time. We're gonna see. Oh, it is. Deep. All right, Alan's just going so fast. He's already up there. And I got flops on. And you got flops on. I swear to God, I won't be able to do leg day for like a week after this trip because all of the hiking and walking, my quads and butt are dead. We're at the top of the rocks and honestly, I just gotta flex the ring with the view. So nice, so sparkly. <coughs> Alan's coughing up a storm ruining my video, but this ring, Nothing can ruin it. We are in the car now. We finished our hike. We got some food. We got Wendy's. We also stopped and got some gas. Alan also got a Red Bull with some Gatorade. I got a chicken sandwich. You just got what? A regular burger with yeah, cheese? Cheeseburger. cheeseburger. We got some fries. We're just gonna eat in the car right now because it's about, it's one o'clock actually on the dot. So we are heading to, what's it called? Johnson's Creek. 
Johnson, Johnson Canyon, Canyon, which is in Banff. How far is it? Um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes from here. So, and they say it takes about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, yep. right? To uh, hike it. And we're going out for dinner tonight with Alan's friend that lives in Canmore. So we want to be back at a decent time. The trail itself had really good reviews. It said it was really easy, but it's like, what, five kilometers or yeah, something? it's long. It's really long. So yeah, we're going to fuel up, eat now, and we'll catch you guys when we get there. Not sure where we are, but there's this like kind of pit stop. You can stop at the side of this of the highway we were on and you can just like look at the view it's really nice not we're really not sure right what the area. point is but we're definitely not in the right area it's a bathroom stop i think it's a bathroom stop it's and they have like a there. playground right here but this is where like alan put johnson's canyon in his ways like app and it took us here oh i felt the raindrop yeah so did i but I mean, this is nice to stop, but we just kind of don't know where we are. And now we don't have service. So. Yay! Change of plans. So we found Johnson's Creek, but the main road to get there is actually closed. They're not allowing vehicles in. They're only allowing walkers and people on bicycles. So it was actually a six kilometer walk to get to the actual trail. The beginning yeah. of the trail. So, and the trail itself is like five kilometers. So we'd be doing six to get there, then five kilometers for the trail and then six back to get to our car. Didn't make sense, so we actually drove back into Ban like downtown Banff, and I think we're gonna go on the Banff gondola ride up until Sulphur Mountain. I guess there's like a lookout point. I don't know, but the gondola ride they said is $70, which is, I feel, quite expensive, but it's the experience. We're gonna do it. We got engaged. I know it's probably being annoying, but we're treating ourselves, so we just got here. It's a tiny bit chilly. I feel like when we get to the top, it's gonna be a lot colder, so I put my long sleeve back on so hopefully you can hear me I'm talking a little bit louder than usual because I'm wearing a mask but masks are actually mandatory everywhere in Banff like even outdoors you'll see everybody with a mask on which kind of sucks but gotta do what you gotta do we're walking towards the gondola right here we just walked in right here I couldn't really vlog it so we're sitting inside of it right now should we sit on the same side or what Wow okay Woo quickly show you guys the tickets they were pretty expensive $72 each because we don't live here and then for people who live in Alberta they get it for $58 which I don't think is a huge difference I feel like people that live in Alberta should get it for way cheaper like they should get it for at least half price so mm. I don't know kind of sucks because it's a window here so it's a little bit dirty and not as clear but yeah, you, you get the idea outside. Alan moved to the side with me usually he hates these things Nice. It's actually like, I don't it's know, really it's, nice, but yeah. we just had like a little scary bump. It was like kind of weird. The view is stunning. The water is so blue. Look at the mountains. Everything is just stunning. Wow. So literally we just walked outside and this is the view. I think we're gonna actually walk down this whole path. You could walk all the way to the top right there. We just came to this little area where you can like write your name and stuff. So I'm gonna write Alan and I's name. You should put hashtag engaged or something. Yeah. Honestly, not sure if we have to wear our masks out here. Some people are, some people aren't. So we're just keeping it like this for now. It's honestly pretty chilly out here. Are you cold? No. Alan's wearing a long sleeve. I'm wearing a long sleeve, but tiny bit chilly. It's actually nice because it's not super sunny. It's kind of cloudy and gloomy. So the pictures are turning out nice. We're not dying of heat. We don't have the sun on our face. So I kind of actually enjoy that. Yeah. This is the very top, right, Bubba? Alan wants to go up to this roof to go a little bit higher, but no. Who cares? Oh my god. We just woke up from a nap. Don't pretend you're sleeping, you're up. We, what time is it? 
My Fitbit never works. What time is it? 7.25. Um, we got back at what time? I don't even know. 4.30, 5 o'clock. 5.30. And then we slept for like an hour. Mainly I was sleeping. Alan went... I was, was watching up. the game, basically. He was watching hockey, yeah. He's a Habs fan and they're playing. I'm exhausted. We did a lot of freaking walking today. See, you're tired. We're just gonna ignore the train. We're gonna get up now. Alan actually is a friend. I think I've mentioned it in some of the other vlogs this week. He lives in Canmore, Alberta with his, well, not with his girlfriend, but his girlfriend lives here. And we're gonna go to her house tonight for dinner. We're gonna have a barbecue, hang out with them. And then tomorrow, Alan and I are off to Calgary. So I'm gonna get up now and get ready. And I'll show you guys what I look like in three, two, one. So these are our outfits. Alan's wearing this elfly yellow long sleeve shirt standing out a bit and his blue jeans i'm just wearing this gray sweater jeans honestly it's a bit hot in our room but alan said it's chilly outside i don't know how much filming i'm going to be doing there just because we're going to spend time with them we're going to be eating and all that good stuff i will catch you guys later all right guys you know what time it is it is bedtime it's pretty late it's like 12 15 on a friday night i mean i guess that's not that late alan and i just got back in from his friend david's house we had a lot of fun spent most of the night talking catching up we had good food we had steak potatoes asparagus salad really good i had a glass of wine now we're back home i'm pretty cold so i'm wearing this sweater right now i got wool socks on we just have the tv on but yeah not much else to say we had a really good day i'm freaking absolutely exhausted i fell asleep in the five minute car ride home so yeah i need to go to bed i will catch you guys tomorrow for day seven technically our last full day we're driving back to calgary so I will see you guys then. Hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.